Hello and welcome to part 5 of the Mickey head tutorial. Last I left you we had gone and added the detail to the eye area and the mouth area. Um, so now we're going to get in and start working on the ears. So let's go to our side view and kind of just grab our mode here and again like we had uh, when we added some loops in part 2 I believe. Uh, apparently when we added some loops right here the back of the head was hidden. So what we need to do we want definite four-sided edges there. Um, we need to go ahead, I think, is that the only area? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of this face here. And then we add, need to add some loops around those. So we'll add three there, okay? And grab our edge select and just start sewing those together, like so. Boom, all right. So now we will select the faces where the ear is going to go, and we're not going to do the whole ear itself. We're just going to go where the base of the ear is actually connected to the head. So we'll start off here as far as the top of it goes, but uh, for the bottom, we could either add a loop, but that'll add run around the mouth too, and I don't want to muddy that water per se because we've got it kind of looking the way we want. So I'm just going to modify Let's tell you what, let's grab these edges here, or those uh, vertices, and I'm going to go ahead and smooth those just so they're a little further spaced apart. And we can actually start coming in and uh, going up to the edge of the bottom of the ear. Okay, and then we'll tell you what, let's also, let's add a loop right here just so we have more vertices to work with. Uh, for the base of the ear, so we'll just kind of shape that. Just kind of imagine what it looks like behind that ear and just kind of shape around that. Okay, so that's going to be... Oops. Sometimes it doesn't let go when I click. Okay, so now we have the basic area that we want to pull the ear from, which would be about right there. So let's go ahead and go to our front view and... Uh, Let's get the uh, the background image lined up with what we have selected here because it's lined up here in the side view. So let's go and line it up here so we can get the ears um, situated uh, accordingly. So we'll go back to our background images and the front one. Let's go ahead and bump it up on the y-axis a bit to about maybe right there. And then let's go ahead and move it sideways. It won't be centered up on the nose anymore, but we get it get the uh, the side of the ear lined up. Go ahead and rotate that so it's a little more flat. Excuse me, we'll go ahead and move this on the x-axis until we're about the side of the head. About right there. So now let's go ahead and extrude out. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the edge of the ear. There we go. And then we'll come to our side view again. Maybe just move that back a little bit. And then we'll grab the whole loop around the outside edge that we created and deselect the front because that's actually going to be smoothed out and uh, fading into the head there as we go. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this out again. And I'm just going to click and just hit E to extrude and then just right click to lock it in. Let's go ahead and turn off our proportional editing so we can scale that by itself. And uh, we'll just scale that up until it's about the right size and then we can come in here and uh, tweak it until it gets to be the right shape. Oops, make sure you're selecting the correct pieces there. And right. Okay, so now we can either grab all these faces or these edges here and smooth them up just by going W smooth. So we can do that, um, or we could go into to sculpt mode and smooth them that way. But I think this way will probably work for the most part. So just kind of get that a little bit more of a gradual thing there. Okay. And now actually let's line that up with uh, where the ear is starting to have uh, an opening there. So we'll kind of just like so. And then let's grab these faces here and actually want to grab this point here. Let's do it. go ahead and do that. Let's grab this point, bring that around and uh, let's line this up with the inside of the opening there. 
and then line those back ones up there with the outside of the opening. I mean, with the outside of the curve of the ear. A little confusing, all the vertices right there on top of each other. I guess here we can kind of line it up with the curve a little bit more. Ears are not that easy to do sometimes. They get all those little folds and indentations in there kind of get confusing a little bit. But we'll uh, extrude that whole area and go in quite a ways, about right there. Okay, maybe bring it down a little bit. Let's go back to wireframe view. And we're going to kind of smooth in this area here, or not necessarily smooth it, but move it up to where it kind of starts to smooth the bottom lobe, like right there. And just kind of shape it around until we can get in and extrude inwards a little further, like in this area here. So we'll go ahead and grab the face mode, select those guys, and that guy. Actually, let's do that one by itself. But we'll extrude this one in a little, maybe scale it down for our side view. Let's move that up here and grab this area here, drag that up up there, drag this over here. And then I'm going to grab this area here, all the way down here, and I guess I don't want that. I guess just this area here. Or we'll, we'll grab it. I'll find grab the right one. There we go. So this is going to be kind of that ridged area that kind of comes up out of there. So we're going to extrude that. Alt S, I'm going to scale it down. Actually, that doesn't work too well. So we'll just scale it down a little bit and just drag it out. And uh, then we'll come in here manually. And it's kind of a Y shape. So it's kind of a Y. If you picture it like that, you kind of see, like here's the the leg or the main arm of the Y, and then there's a kind of the branched off area. So kind of just kind of keep that in mind as you're sculpting this together. Make it kind of look like a Y shape in there. And this will also be the part that, like if we come to our front view, you can see this part here that comes out, and probably on this side too. This area here, you got the main outer rim there, but then you got the that Y shape that comes out here. So that's what we're working on right now. So we want that to kind of stick out a little further than the rest of the ear. Hit the period button, it'll reset your scene around what's selected. In this case, it was pieces of the ear. So that's a little better. We can rotate around a little easier that way uh, once it's centered on it. So Okay, so it's kind of looking kind of messy in here, but uh, that'll be okay. Okay, so you can see that's looking okay. Um, got a little bit more work we still need to do. Let's add the, the little tab there. So we'll just use this and extrude that out and scale it down. And then just drag this whole area here until it fits a little more on top of the reference. And then the actual ear hole goes down into your head, be right there. We'll go ahead and extrude that in just a bit. Just like the nostril, just enough to give it the illusion that there is an actual, you know, hole that it's going into. It'll just be covered up in shadow when we render it, so that'll be fine. Okay, so getting there, getting there. Let's go ahead and bring this area here back a little bit. 
And uh, one last thing before we call the ear good to go. Looked a little messy right here. Let's clean that up. Um, let's just grab this outer edge, about starting from there, and then I guess just going down around till we get to about right there. And we'll go ahead and extrude this again, and then just kind of scale it up a bit. And then this will be. We'll modify this until this is the actual part that uh, is kind of looped around. So this will be a little smaller. And this will come out a little further. Okay. We're getting there. Nice and rounded off. And it looks like his earlobes are fairly well attached. Some people have the uh, the hanging lobes or whatever they call them, but his look pretty close to the, his head, so we don't want to go too far down away from the base there. But I would like to go ahead and add some extra spacing in behind his ear. So let's go ahead and just grab his head his part there. Just kind of separate that out a little bit better. Okay, so that's looking all right. Let's go to our front view, and they're a little bigger in the front view than they are in the side view. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just select the whole ear now that we have it fairly well done, and deselect all this other stuff around it. And in art class, your teacher might have taught you that the ear should line up with the eyebrow, and I've heard the conflicting stories, the eyebrow and the bottom of the nose and the eyebrow and the bottom of the mouth. Now, it looks like it's closer to the bottom of the mouth, so I'm going to scale it down just a bit on the z-axis there. And then we'll go to our front view, and that looks a little more accurate there. So we'll scale it down just a bit more. And then I'm going to come to our top view, and let's see, we can't really see anything. Well barely see the edge of the ear there in the top view. I'm going to undo that. There we go. I'm going to rotate it out just a bit. Let's put our 3D cursor right there in the in the front of it. There. And one thing I've noticed that uh, I didn't notice it in previous versions of Blender, but uh, see, I'm trying to put my 3D cursor in the middle of, uh, like, right there. I want to put it right there in the middle of that area, right there. And then I'll go to the side view and say right there. So I'll go back to top view. It bumped over this way. And it's, it's staying stuck to the surface of our mesh there. And I don't want that. I want to be able to put it where I want to put it. So the way you fix that, where you change that, is you've got to go to your user preferences. And then under interface, say cursor depth. Turn that off. And then you can put your 3D cursor exactly where you want it. And it'll stay put. So see, I have it right here. But when I go back to the top view, it's still inside the head there. So that's how you get that. I'm going to hit the period button so I rotate around it, and I'm going to rotate the ear out a little bit so it's sticking away from the head. Tell you what, let's hit the control minus, which will deselect uh, the, the last row. If you hit control plus, it'll add to it. If you hit control minus, it'll subtract from it. So I want to subtract that row that's actually on the head itself so we can extrude or uh, so we can rotate just the ear out. So we'll rotate that out. About like so, and maybe we'll drag it back just a bit. I want to give a lot more separation from the, the ear and the head. So I'm going to select that loop where it is on the head, scale that down some. Let's go ahead and control comma back to the selection. Front view, side view. Scale that down a little bit more. And uh, 
bring that in and maybe come in here and drag this down. Okay, so that's looking a little better. It looks like they're a little too far back, but I mean, according to the reference, they're fine, but uh, visually, they look like they're too far back on his head. So I'm gonna, gonna fudge it a little bit and uh, I'm gonna cheat. I don't know what you call it cheating, but uh, make an executive decision. I'm gonna turn my proportional editing turn on and move that forward a little bit. Okay, that looks a little better. If we go to hit the five button, go to perspective view, you can see it's very fisheye and it doesn't look realistic at all. The way you can change your view camera without actually looking through the camera uh, to where it'll look better in your 3D scenes. You can come up here all the way up to the top almost where it says view. Right now the lens is at 35. I think 60 usually gives me a better uh, perspective view there. Okay, so we got our ears, and everything's looking fairly decent. The Adam's apple looks a little too wide. Let's make that a little more narrow. That's a little better. Okay, so we'll jump in and grab the sculpt tool, smooth out some of these sharper edges we can see here. Not the grab, the smooth. There we go. Just kind of click in here. Just kind of smooth some of these areas up. Okay. Now, uh, before we go any further, the top of his head looks like a football, <laughs> almost. So, I'm going to come in here and let's uh, clean that up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to do a compromise on this side working on this side, so that's what the actual edges are. And we're gonna try to make that, like I said, kind of a compromise between this side, where you can see on the edge now, and the actual image. His head's tilted, so it's not gonna be real accurate, but we'll try to make it look a little bit better uh, visually. Of course, I think that's, I guess that's how things look better, no matter what. It's always visually if it's gonna look better, but just kinda go from the solid view here. Okay, that looks a lot better. Maybe even we'll just select everything, scale it on the y-axis just a bit. So it's not quite so long. And that looks a little better. Oh, hmm, now his eyes are kind of bugging out. Let's undo that. I think that'll be fine. Okay, uh, before we call it done, run on 18 minutes. I uh, don't really have time to, to do the, uh, the inside of the mouth, so we will uh, save that for part, uh, part six. But I would like to give him a little bit more of a jawline here. So I'm gonna add one more loop right in here and uh, drag this part up a little bit. see what's going on on the other side. Look at that a little bit better. Okay. Alright, so that's looking okay. Um, this little area here is kind of bugging me. Let's grab that, move that in. These are just kind of nitpicky details as I like to call them. Okay, so we got the base uh, shape of the head done. Go ahead and smooth some of these things on the neck here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with where this is going. So, uh, like I said, this is going to be in the end of part 
five. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Just go back to object mode. Save that. Okay, so on part six, uh, we'll get in and do the inside of the mouth, and then maybe uh, looks like we got a little little tweaking to do. Tell you what, let's do that real quick. Drag this down. That's a little better. Okay, save that. Okay, so here we go. The end of part five uh, and part six, we'll do the inside of the mouth and probably add on the seams. And uh, then, uh, depending on how much time we have left, we might start trying to do some texture painting, but that'll probably be part seven. So, again, that's going to be it for part five. Hopefully yours is looking as nice as mine. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Um, I'm happy with the way this is going. Hopefully yours is, is going smoothly as well. So... Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in part six.